everyone. Hi, welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen, and I am Ani, your hostess with the most days. Just kidding. Um, today I'm going to bring you another island dish, okay? This one is called Sopa de Sanchicho. And what it is, it's a soup with the main ingredient being um, salami, okay? The hard salami, you know, on the roll, like summer sausage, that, that kind of salami. Except we're using the beef summer sausage, but you can use any flavor you want. You know, turkey, chicken, if there is one, pork, whatever. Um, but this is what that is. It's a soup made out of sachicho. So, summer sausage soup, I guess, would translate in English. I think so. <laughs> Sounds better in Spanish, though. Sopa de sachicho. All right, so it's going to have basically a lot of the same ingredients as the uh, sancocha almost, as far as the vegetables go. Um, but not all of those vegetables. You can make it all of those vegetables. You can put whatever you want. You know, it's up to you. It's your dish, your kitchen. Use what you want to use. Put in what you want to put in. Leave out what you want to leave out. Totally on you. This is creative cooking. That's what I'm all about. All right. I hope you've enjoyed the recent videos, especially the one with the, yeah, so embarrassed. <laughs> The jelly roll or jam roll, the blueberry and strawberry one. I made it work though, didn't I? You gotta give me props on that. Come on, come on, give some love. <laughs> anyway, and they today they taste it out of this world delicious. Okay, so I'm going to show you the ingredients right now. Oh, by the way, you can serve this with. I'm gonna serve it with white rice. You can make tostones, which are fried plantains. Um, you can do dinner rolls with it, or you just do the soup with oyster crackers or soup and biscuit. Whatever way you want, and some avocado also usually on the side. I don't have any. I won't have any till tomorrow. So we're going to have it. I'm going to serve it with some white rice and some yeast dinner roll biscuits that I'm making. So that's what I'm going to serve it with. So, anyway, let me show you the ingredients. Okay, so here are the ingredients. I went ahead and already quartered uh, my summer sausage, okay? And my hands are clean to these sizes. You can make the pieces bigger if you want. It's totally up to you. All I do is quarter it, okay? So, I've got that. Then, here are my vegetables. This is what I'm going to use. I have two potatoes cut up. Okay. I have uh, sweet potatoes. Two of those cut up. I have the pumpkin cut up. What was left. The half of what was left. And some baby carrots. That's what I have as vegetables. Okay. You could just make it potatoes if you don't want anything else. Or potatoes and carrots. You could put celery in there if you want. Whatever. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just gonna do my verduras or bianda and my onions, pepper, um, onion, red, green, yellow, orange, pepper mix here chopped up. Some Pimento stuffed olives, okay, and those you just drop in whole. I think I'll probably put about six of them in there. Of course, sofrito for flavor, and my ring of spices here, and a pack of sazon con culantro y achote, okay, and some Maggie. Now you can use chicken or beef, bouillon, it doesn't matter. Whichever one you want to use. I'm going to use the chicken one. Alright, so the first thing we want to do, those are all the ingredients. And there's my pot. So let me go ahead and bring you closer. Alright, 
here we go. First thing we'll do is turn our pot on and wait a few minutes and let that get hot. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take some machote and we got to need garlic too, I forgot to tell you. Just put a little bit in there, not a lot. There's my garlic. Oh, excuse me. Alright. I got that in there. We're going to put in our sausage. Or fat chichon. Okay. What you want to do is you just want to brown this a little bit. Seal it a little bit. Give it some color. We eat Puerto Rico, so we like color. We like colorful food. Just colorful anything. Vibrant colors. Like your life. You know, something that's like your life. <laughs> I just see so we could have more of this. I'm drunk off of Dr. Pepper, I think. All that sugar. I can only have one every once in a blue moon. Otherwise, it's just right for me. That's all I can drink if I drink a soda. I usually don't. All right, so we're stir frying that. Um, we can go ahead. Drop in all the onions. I'm going to say about a cup of mixed onion, peppers, and all bell peppers. Yeah. Come on. Half an onion, I would say chopped up. A quarter of a green pepper, a quarter of a red pepper, or yellow, whatever. And if you're allergic, you don't. Use it. Do without it. Do something else. Now, we're going to put in a tablespoon of garlic mince. Okay. This is a very easy recipe. You got me some angel hair pasta too. Or some kind of thin spaghetti. This is the sofrito that I made last week, nice and fresh. Two tablespoons. And I'm going to be making this and selling it in 12 ounce jars, okay, um, for five dollars a jar, um, three fifty for the uh, small ice cube trays. If you want little cubes, so you just pop a cube in your in your stews and stuff. Yeah. So three fifty for the. For a tray of ice cubes, and it'll come with a lid and uh, like a, a six pack, and then five dollars for the actual 12 ounce jar. So So we're going to give this a stir and we're going to let this saute, okay, before we put in our seasonings. Let's put that up to eight, put that get in there. I'm going to put the olives in here so that they'll start giving some flavor. 
a little bit of that juice. Oh no! Yep. All right. I'm going to add in just a touch of Marsala wine at the tablespoon. Okay. Red wine vinegar. About the same. Alright. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of lime juice. And you don't have to put this in. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. So about a tablespoon of that. saute on an eight for about five minutes and I'll bring you back. Timer five, bring you right back. Okay, I'm going to put in one bay leaf and three basil leaves from my garden. Okay, I'm going to stir this around. Coming along nicely. So now we're going to put in tomato sauce, one eight ounce can. Rinse it out with water. Okay. In our, put the flame down to six again. Put in our sauce packet. Our Maggie. Okay. About a teaspoon, I guess. Here's our mix of onion and garlic powder. Teaspoon of that. A teaspoon and a half, some dry basil, a teaspoon of that, oregano, a teaspoon of that, whoops, cumin, a teaspoon of that, and turmeric. Teaspoon of that. All right. This stuff. This is all done. So, I put all this in here. And what I'm going to do is test it for salt. I think it's perfect. Now we're going to put in our vegetables and fill it with water. And the pasta will go in last. Now the sauce, the tomato sauce is an option. Some people like like this sachichon sopa, the sachichon clear, with just like the chicken bouillon. Or the beef bouillon color. That's totally up to you. I like mine to have a little bit more saucy look. 
to it. Okay, so we're going to fill that up because those vegetables have to get done. So we're going to put the lid just a little bit off center so to let it evaporate, and we're going to keep that at a six. All right, and that will be that. I'm going to say let it cook for about 30 minutes, and I'll be back to check on the vegetables. If the vegetables are done, uh, namely the pumpkin, well, and the sweet potatoes, they, sh they should take about the same time to cook. Um, you can even add bits of corn in there too if you want. I'm not gonna do that. Um, then we'll add the angel hair pasta. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, let's see. We've got about six minutes left. Let me uh, turn this TV down. Uh, I always forget that. I don't know why. Put that just like that. This is actually a She followed me and then he was taking a nap. So <laughs> I left, uh, I walked out of the room. I didn't realize she went in the room because she's not allowed in the bedroom and she knows it. So I don't know why she went in there. And I didn't notice her because it was kind of dark in there. And I came out to come back here and closed the door and locked her in there. <laughs> So I had to go get her out. Sorry about that. All right, so here are my noodles, angel hair pasta. I got about, a, oh, a quarter of the box, of the uh, one pound box. Let me make sure. Yep, one pound box. So let me go ahead and make sure that these vegetables are cooked. Or just about there because we got to cook the pasta for about eight minutes. Yep, it's cooked. Went right through real easy. So you're gonna take your pasta and you're gonna break it in three. And then we're gonna cover it. Oh, look at that richness. See that? Mm-hmm. That's some good stuff right there. This is sopa de salchichon. Summer sausage soup. Alright. I'm going to cover this up. Lower this to a four so it doesn't boil over. And put it for eight minutes. Boing. And we'll be right back. All right, eight minutes are up, which means the noodles should be done. Yep, they're pretty much done. And there it is. So we're gonna turn this off and I'll be plating it. Okay, and I'll bring you back with the presentation. Okay, well, here it is, folks. There 
is the guest of honor, and I can't show this without getting a shadow behind this light. Let me try another light. Hold on. Okay, well, y'all, this is it. This is my sopa de sachichong. This is Hubster's meal. I'm getting ready to go take it to him. Uh, until the next one, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves and one another. As always, please, thumbs up. Give me a like, por favor. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how, if you make this dish, how you enjoyed it. Or if you enjoyed it, if you did anything different. Um, and then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It is absolutely free. Hit that notification bell. Turn it on. Tap it. And go ahead and um, select whether you want all the, my, you know, be notified on all my uploads or just personal ones to your personal taste. You know, you make that selection, whatever is best for you, whatever you desire. But go ahead and turn that notification bell on so that way you won't miss out on any of my recipes. Okay? Until the next one, take care, y'all. Bye.